Hello everyone, welcome to Manual Tutorials. In this video, we will be seeing how to write a code to print this pattern in Java. This is the fourth video in the pattern programming series in Java. So, we will start. Just as the previous videos, we will try to understand the relationship in this pattern between the values in the rows and the columns. The first thing we will do is we will check how many rows we have and how many columns we have. So, we have a total of 5 5 rows and also 5 columns. There are 5 rows and there are 5 columns. Now we will see how each ne next how the next number is being determined. So if we try to draw this in the form of a matrix and assign the row number and column number 1 So we now we will try to make out what is how we are actually determining the number to be printed at a specific position. So we will just check it out. Now when the row number is 1 and the column number is 1 the value that is getting printed is 1. And then when the row number is 2 and the column number is 1 the value that is getting printed is 0. So there should be some relationship which we have to understand so we can code accordingly. So if we see if we just add the row number and the column number divided by 2 and check the remainder. So now 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 more 2 is 0. So when the in this case the remainder is 0 and the value printed is 1. Let's check for the next number. The row number is 2 and the column number is 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 divided by 2, we get the remainder as 1, which is 3 modulus 2 is 1. When the remainder is 1, the value printed is 0. Remember, here the remainder was 0, we printed 1. Here the remainder is 1, we printed 0. Now we'll check for the next one. The row number is 2, the column number is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 modulus 2 is 0. The remainder is 0, we are printing 1. Similarly, we will check for the next one. The row number is 3, the column number is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 modulus 2 is 0. The remainder is 0, we are printing 1. So, if you check for each subsequent number, we will understand that whenever we try to find the modulus of the sum of the row number and column number divided by 2, if at all the remainder is 0, we print 1 and if the remainder is 1, we print 0. So this is the relationship and this is how the next number is being determined. So we will see how to write the code for it. Now here, since we had 5 rows, the total number of rows is 5 and the total number of columns is 5. So since we have 5 rows, I have iterated the auto loop from 1 to 5. And, this, and one more relationship that we need to find is that for the row number 1, there is one column. For row 2, there are two columns. For row 3, there are three columns and so on. So if we see the inner for loop, it is beginning from 1 and it is going up to i, which is the row number. That means at each row, the total number of columns is i. So that's the reason we have written this loop. And how do we determine the next number? That is the logic that we have to write inside the loop. So how did we determine it? We simply added the row number and the column number, divided it by 2 and found the remainder. So if the sum of i plus j modulus 2 is equal to 0, we printed 1. And if it is 1, we printed 0. So that is what we have written. So if the remainder is 0, we print 1 and we print a space along with it because they are space separated. You could also print tabs. And if at all the remainder is not 0, it is obviously 1 because we are finding the modulus by 2. So if it is not 0, the remainder is 1. If the remainder is 1, we are printing 0 and then printing a space. Once one row is completed, we print a new line and move on to the next row. So we will see how this is working. 
initially the value of i that we have is 1 it comes inside j is also 1 we add i plus j so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 modulus 2 is 0 it is printing 1 and then it will print a space if, since the if condition is true it won't go to the else part again it will go back to the loop increment the value of j which now becomes 2 it will check for the condition i is 1 j is 2 2 is not lesser than equal to 1 so the condition becomes false it's coming out of the inner loop printing a new line and going back to the outer loop now in the outer loop the value of i becomes 2 it comes back to the inner loop j starts from 1 1 is and it, j is initialized to 1 so j is 1 now it comes inside the inner loop i plus j i was 2 j is 1 one, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 modulus 2, it is 1. If condition is false, it comes to the else part, it prints 0 and it prints a space. Now again, it goes back to the inner loop. J gets incremented by 1, so J becomes 2. 2 is lesser than equal to 2, it comes inside. Now we are adding I and J. I is 2, J is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 modulus 2 is 0. So it is going to print 1 and it's going to print a space. Now again it go back, goes back inside. J becomes 3. I is 2. J is 3. J is not lesser than equal to I. Because 3 is not lesser than equal to 2. So the condition for the loop becomes false. So it comes out of the loop. It prints a new line. And it comes to the row number 3. And in this way it will keep printing each subsequent row. We have set the last value for the rows as 5 so it would exactly print 5 loops and then a uh, 5 rows and then come out of the outer loop as well so hope you all have understood how to print this pattern in java thank you for watching the video if you all like the video do like it and also share it with your friends and relatives and also subscribe to our channel so you would get notifications of the upcoming videos if you all have any doubts related to this or any other topic, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.